Do I have to? Look, I, I, I know it's a big change, but we'll get used to each other. Haven't you always wanted a father? A father, yes. But not you. You can't make me go with you. The court granted me custody, Sarah, starting today. What? Sarah, look at the bright side. No more shelters, no more foster families. Yeah, you know, you'll have your own room, your own books, even your own father. I can't live with you. Honey, you're my blood. I mean, we've lost so much time already. We need to, you know, get to know each other, uh, find out what we have in common. Like what? I don't know. Maybe the fact that we both like chili burgers. <laughs> Whatever it is, we'll find out. Huh. Together. Sarah, this is a good thing. So go on, get your things and uh, we'll go home. I'll run away. As soon as you turn your back, I will. Why? Because, Mr. Brilliant Lawyer, in case you haven't figured it out yet, I hate you. You cannot tell Sarah that Marshall is a rapist. Mom, I love her. I cannot in good conscience let that man just step into her life and play hero. He can play anything that he wants. He is her father, and you can't change that. No, but I can make sure she never lets her guard down against me. Where are you going? To the shelter. It's time Sarah finds out who her daddy really is. Leave it alone, Bonnie. Whose side are you on? If you don't know that by now... Isaac is right, honey. You are out for revenge, and that is not the same thing as justice. Maybe you haven't heard, Mom, but thanks to justice, the system has decided that a rapist is fit to father a beautiful young girl. Look, Bonnie, I don't like it any more than you do, but the law is on his side. You're right. He's a criminal, and the law is he on his side. He was never convicted of anything. His record is clean. Would you stop protecting him? I am not protecting him. I am trying to protect you. A grown woman, Mom. I can take care of myself, but Sarah. Sarah! Is Sarah is going to be hurt if you try to bring her father down, Bonnie. Now, stay away from that child, and for God's sake, just keep your mouth shut. I can't believe it. Allison is alive. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry we had to put you through this. I thought she was dead. I know, but listen to me. It was the only way. It was the only way we could get you away from Rick. But look, look at me. It worked. Here you are. And you're okay. And he's never going to be able to hurt you or any of us ever again. You're sure. You're sure. She's really and truly all right. Yes, she's fine. She's just worried, worried sick about you. Chris took her home. She's, he's trying to calm her down. Oh, she must be absolutely traumatized. And it's all my fault. No, Mom, it's not. I brought a monster into our family. I, 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 why didn't I see it? You and Ellie saw it. Because you loved him, it? Mom, that's why. Love. Wish you'd never met him. I hope the cops find him. What if he followed me? What, what if he's out there Listen to me. No, no, no. I don't think that. Listen to me. If Rick Decker comes back to this police station, it's going to be in handcuffs. Margot and Hal are closing in on him now. Is this the man? That's him. All right, this officer will take your statement. Margo, I'm going to take some uniforms. I'm going to search the woods behind the house. You call Emily, you tell her the bad news, and you tell her I'm not giving up on her. Hello. Emily, it's Margo. Uh, you, an eyewitness spotted your mother leaving the motel, pursued by Decker. We're searching the area. Margo, it's okay. Mom's here with me at the police station. She got away from Rick. Did they find him? That's incredible. Is Susan okay? Yes. Thank God she's okay. That's great. I, I'll tell Hal. Decker's car's gone. Oh, I just talked to Emily at the station, and, and Susan is there with her. She got away? Yes. Can you believe it? Finally, some good news. Great. Well, that gives us some time, but not much. Well, we better use it to figure out what Decker's next move is going to be. Yeah, I know. We better catch him before somebody else dies. everything that you read. I have an 
How, how did you stay alive? I put water in, in the vial instead of your poison. You witch! <laughs> you ruined everything! Go ahead and scream. Nobody can hear you. Now, where is your mother? She ran away from you. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God you didn't hurt her. And you never will because they're going to put you in jail, you maniac! You don't think I can get your mother? Well, she's going to be here in under two minutes flat. And do you know why? Do you know why? Because you're going to help me, that's why. Hey, Chris, what do you got there, man? It's a sedative for Allison. Dr. Dixon prescribed it. Oh, she must be terrified. Is she staying here in the hospital? No, no, she's at home. I was going to give her the sedative, hope it helps her calm down a little bit. But I don't think she's going to get any rest until she knows her mother's safe from that lunatic. Yeah. Hey, any news on Decker? I just heard from Al. Susan's safe. Are you serious? Yep. She's down at the police station with Emily. Somehow she got away from her. I don't know how. Oh, my God. That's fantastic. I got to tell Al. She's yeah, been going out Chris, of Chris, um, could you tell her in person, not on the phone? I don't want her getting in the car trying to drive down the police station. What part of the story did you leave out? Decker's still on the loose. The police don't know where he's headed. Where is Allison right now? She's at her mom's house. Oh, my God. What's worse for Sarah? Mom. Knowing the truth about her father or living in ignorance with a man who has absolutely no business raising a child? You want to talk about the truth? Let's talk about the real reason that you want to tell Sarah her father's a rapist because you hate him, Bonnie, and you want to make sure that Sarah hates him just as much as you do. She already does, Mom. I'm not bursting any bubbles here. Look, all I'm saying is don't ruin Sarah's opportunity to have a relationship with her father before it's even begun. And then if she doesn't want to have anything to do with him, she can make that judgment without your help. And what? Get seduced by his power and his charm the way you were? Well, hopefully she'll be a lot smarter than I was. Mom. Look, Mom, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that that did not come out. What I was trying to say is that you are a smart, intelligent woman. And Marshall still tricked you. What does a 15-year-old girl, what kind of chance does she have against that? That's why I have to go to the shelter. I have to tell Sarah what she's getting into. No, no, Bonnie. Look, this is a small town. It's, it's going to come out what Marshall did to me sooner or later. Now, he's probably trying to figure out a way to tell Sarah himself. And when he does? Then she'll make her own decision, honey. Do you know who we're talking about here, Mom? We are talking about a man who hurts women. No, we are talking about Sarah's father. <sighs> Sarah, don't confuse being scared with hating someone. Oh, I'm not then you have no excuse to speak to Mr. Travers in such a rude way. Troy, you mind uh, giving us a few minutes alone? Sure. So you hate me, huh? Well, why don't you have a seat and uh, let's figure out why. You know, I hope you're as, as happy about getting a father as I am about getting a daughter. You had a daughter 15 years ago and you walked out. If you loved me, you would have found me way before today. But you didn't even look, did you? Look, Sarah, I didn't know that you were right here. But, and, oh. and, and when you did find me, you were mean to me. Listen, certain people didn't want me to know that I was your father. And they arranged things so that I wouldn't. Which certain people? Who did that? Well, Bonnie. 
I mean, I'm not blaming her for all the mistakes that I made in the past, but when I tried to make things right, she did everything she could to, to make sure that we didn't find out that we were family. Well, why wouldn't she want me to know that you were my father? Because Miss McKechnie hates me like poison. Well, you must have given her a really good reason. And I want to know what that reason is. What did Hal say? They've got every available unit searching for Rick's car. They're going to find him, Mom. I know it. But he's still out there. You know what What? Is there any way Rick would be able to find out that Allison is still alive? I don't know how. We'd better call her and warn her. You don't think he'd go to the house? I mean, knowing that the police are after him, would he do that? We've got to call her and see all if right, she's all right. all right. Just calm down, all right? Call her. That's a good idea. We need to tell her that you're okay anyway. But listen to me. That kid has been through hell. Don't scare her any more than you have to, Mom. There we go. Have a seat. Now we're going to call Mommy. I won't help you trap my mom. Oh, yes, you will. Because I can make people disappear, remember? And this time there won't be water in the syringe. I won't help you get your hands on my mom. Oh. Well, maybe I just won't kill you. Maybe I'll kill your sister. And what's what's her son's name? That cute little boy. Is it Daniel? I'm going to pick up that phone. And I want you to answer it in a normal, calm voice. Do you understand? Any hints? You're dead in less than two minutes. at the police station with Emily. We just wanted to make sure you're okay. Allie, are you okay? Sure. I'm fine. I'm fine. Good. We are too. Oh, we're just waiting for how to call and, and tell us that they've caught Rick. Don't say a word if you want to see Allison alive. Are you listening? Yes. Come home. Come alone. If you tell anyone, I'll kill your baby. And this time she'll stay dead. Whatever you say, Allie. Hurry home. I miss our little family get-togethers. Emily, uh, I can't do that herbal tea. Please, just one cup of coffee. Yeah, sure. Listen, I'm gonna have the police send a cruiser over to the house just to be on the safe side. I think that would be a good idea. Mom? Mom? Yeah, none of this would have been necessary if you had just been more supportive of my marriage with your mother. What do you mean by that? Allison, open up. It's me, Chris. Allison, if you open the door, all the reporters are gone. Allison, come on. I have to tell you something, I can't wait. Allison, open this door, I'm gonna have to break it down. Go away, Chris, nobody's home. 